boop, boop. Right, let's get this started. Sound is working. Bibbidi boop. Bibba bibbidi boop. Game, 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 game. Get comfy. I drank all of my, um, drank all of my lemon. I made a lemon drink, lemon juice. Not lemon juice, lemon squash. It's all gone. It's fucking, just, just guzzled the fucking thing down. I let myself down. Okay, anyway. Let's get this started. <laughs> I do actually have tea. Hi, Heisen, how are you doing? I I love to have a cold drink with a hot drink. So, I've got tea and I've got the lemon, which I, I drank all the lemon. It's all gone. It's all gone now. But I still have the tea! But the lemon was so good. How's your day going, Heisen? And... Um, yeah, how's it going? God, that's a good goddamn cup of tea as well. I'm on it with the drinks tonight. This is where I only had like 30 minutes from getting home to streaming. I did all right. Ah, yes, the work lurk. The worky lurk. <laughs> worky lurky. Um. Oh, there's that thing. That thing. That thing's a piece of shit. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't I save it down? Right, I got a lot of fucking shit to read through. I've been avoiding reading these things. Go collect your reward. Right, I'm gonna... Hey, Retro Gamer! None of it... I try not to be an Earthling. Not on Wednesdays. I, I want to be a Martian. How are you doing, Retro Gamer? Discharged, okay. The discharged agents are examples of extreme physical deformation resulting in uh, from his corruption. His charge, dis his charge display an unthinking fixation on any non-corrupted individuals in the area. Once within specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused his resonance, so dense that it acts as a physical force. The his charge is depleted of the his corruption after this eruption. The host is left lifeless. This behavior may be an adaptive response to the HRAs, the his charged are designed to blow the devices off potential hosts, exposing them to the resonance. Is the HIS capable of customizing a corrupted host's altered ability to this degree? Why is the physiology of the HIS charge so dramatically different from the host's original form? Lots of questions, no answers. Refer to the something file for full report. Um, oh, thank you for asking. Um, not much. Um, I raced home, because my work hours have changed. Raced home, had a shower, Made some tea, and I'm straight into streaming, and as soon as I finish my stream, I'm straight to bed, pretty much, because it'll be late. Um, but this will be the highlight of my day, hanging with the cool people that come to hang out with me. I've got to do some reading, though, because I've been collecting these files, I've not been reading them, I've been bad. So while people are arriving, I'll get the reading done. Okay, his clusters. Uh, unique in that they are concentra concentrated manifestations of his resonance without the need of a host. His clusters are dense spherical compressions of his resonance that serve support functions in the hierarchy of his entities. Um, the clusters are capable of replenishing his hosts with infusions of resonance. This does not heal any physical damage inflicted on the organic host, but rather seems to rejuvenate them, allowing them to endure more bodily harm than uh, normally possible. The fact that the Hiss makes an effort to preserve its corrupted hosts underlines a level of awareness and discretion that was pre uh, previously just speculation on my part. Can this entity be considered an individual or simply an extension of the Hiss as a whole? Capturing one alive would be quite interesting. Refer to the file something for full report. Huh. Is there any in particular that you've um, that you've been staring at, and you keep on saying to yourself, "I'm going to read that one soon. I'm going to read it. which because I've got a book in mind that I've been looking at in my collection that I've not read. I've had it for ten years. <laughs> well, to be fair, it's two books in one book, and I've read the first book, so I've read half of it. I've just not read the second. So, what's top of the pile for the books that you've got there? Field research on his entity, his distorted agent. 
Uh, we've only seen one of those. His distorted agents are able to render themselves invisible and emit a powerful concussive blast when in close range of their target. Curiously, the His Distorted is apparently not able to utilize both abilities at once. It must make itself visible when it goes on the offensive. The His Distorted is, a unique, is unique in the fact that it wields a paranormal ability previously unknown to the Bureau, perhaps tapping into a yet undiscovered object of power. How does this invis invisibility work? Does the Distorted become resonance temporarily? Does it use His to resonate, uh, resonance to refract light? The physical deformation um, of this particular hiss entity is noteworthy in its thoroughness. Clearly the human host would have died from such extreme alteration, which prompts the question... Oh, that's my housemate getting home. Are the corrupted simply an animated, uh, simply animated corpses? Report to the something file. Sorry, I... My headset's dying. I've got to smack myself in the head every now and then. Uh, okay, field research is on hiss entity, hiss corrupted sniper. It's gonna be the... the the Hiss theme is pretty much the same. It's taken over by some kind of resonance. Uh, Hiss snipers are no less lethal. Uh, the corruption has not changed their tactics. They clearly prefer to maintain a good distance from the target, waiting in elevated positions for a clear shot. Care should be taken in open spaces. Check the balconies. I should note that their rifles are equipped with a bayonet for close quarters combat, and the Hiss snipers are well aware of how to use it. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, it sounds like you've got um, a good collection going there. I, because I did a lot of night shifts, I kind of moved over to audiobooks. I love audiobooks, but they're still they're still two very separate forms. I mean, a good narrator can ruin, uh, no, a, a bad narrator can ruin a great book, and a bad narrator and a, and a good narrator can make a terrible book good. It's something obviously that books. That, that, that's a problem that books don't have. You just imagine it how you imagine it. I didn't know there was a book based on Forrest Gump. Oh, no way. I mean, I've never collected comics. Um, not because I didn't ever want to. They always looked really cool. It's just I'd never really had the money to do so. And it was... Um, the closest comic shop to where I lived when I was younger was like 70, 80 miles away, which just wasn't very viable for me to go to when I was young. I remember um, there was a st store in Plymouth, and I went there very rarely, and there were so many comics that I was just like, I didn't, I didn't know where to start, and I didn't buy any. Oh no, that's a lie. I bought um, my graphic novel, I suppose. I bought the Battle Angel Alita ones. Well, some of the earlier ones. They were really good. Fair enough. Are you are you a Brit that go that looks for British comics, or are you American going for British comics, or are you you like are you crossing like the pond kind of thing when it comes to your literature? Right. I've read three pages. That's enough. I'll read every time I get to one of these spots. I'll read a little bit more. <laughs> Ah, oh, fair enough. Cool. Um, I I can actually the only real I'd say famous comics I've I've read. Um, was I remember I read one Judge Dread, but it, I think it was like a compendium one. Because, uh, um, hey, Elwing, how are you? Because um, I used to have really long bus journeys. They're like an hour long each. And a friend lent me, uh, it was a Judge Dredd one. It was thick, though. It was really thick. And a Superman one, because he loved Superman. And it was one where Superman was old. Um, and all of the original superheroes were old. It was really good. How's your day going, Elwin? Kamikaze definitely, we understand that well. Mm 
I haven't made any of these just because I feel like it's a waste. Um, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Elwin. Well, I'm glad you've come and you've you come to follow the channel and you come and hang out because it's always good to have you here. Lots of people come here when they're they're feeling down, I think. And the funny thing is, I always find them these, these the people that are having a bad time to be quite cheerful and they they bring the mood of the room up. Everything has gone tits up. Yeah. I'm one of those annoyingly positive people. I try to find positive positivity everywhere. Look at those fuckers, right? Where am I going? I think I'm going to the other end, aren't I? Oh, they'd be exploding all over the show, right? Shit, where the fuck are you going? Sorry, I was looking in the wrong direction. Look at these little guys walking around. Let them fight amongst each other. That was rude as such a nice dead. Saturday night is dead, my fault. I'm not not sure I understand, Elwing. Do you mean literally that your dog has passed away, or...? Retro game, are you making me want a cupcake? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Elwing. I mean, nothing I can say is going to make it any better, but... I mean, you sound like a nice person, and it makes me happy when dogs, and cats, and pets, when they have nice owners, I think I think it's fantastic that these that we get to spend time with these, these animals, like these, these soft souls that we get to spend time with. And I'm not a spiritual person at all, but I really do cherish. Even the idea when it's someone else, I think it's amazing that we can make friends and make these creatures our family. So I'm I'm sorry for your loss, buddy. And Yeah. <laughs> it's true you're not allowed according to um the government government man. I'm sure it wasn't there like a bylaw about cupcakes though. I'm pretty sure. If I was king, there would be a bylaw about the Cup Kings. Um, a friend of mine called Ariane is um, looking after a little kitten. And it is the most fucking adorable little guy. I'm going to post a picture of it tomorrow on Twitter. I'm trying to be better with my Twitter, but I'm saving it. I don't want to just throw everything good I've got, but I'm going to put a picture of this little kitten up tomorrow, and it's the coolest picture ever. I love this little guy. Yeah, well, I will stop talking about animals, and we will continue the game and talk about stuff, but if you do want to talk about it, then we're here. I need to test your eyes.
I mean, it does depend on the flavour, obviously. Where the fuck am I going? Where the fuck is this wanting me to go? Don't make it too complicated, Heisen. <laughs> You've never been a driver, nor drove a vehicle. Okay. Um, well, I don't want yourself getting hurt, but I do want um, a salted caramel one. <gasps> salted caramel. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had salted caramel ice cream the other day, and I don't buy ice cream very often. And I was feeling shit, because uh, my chest was hurting the other day. Um, and I had a bowl of this ice cream, and then I went downstairs and I like, fuck it, I'm bringing the whole fucking... Like a, it's like a miniature bucket, isn't it? or tub, I suppose. I brought up the whole thing. I ate the whole thing. It was... It was gluttony at its most glorious <laughs> and I enjoyed every minute of it I thought I went this way where's the Oh, I'm just going. I'm carrying the rock back, aren't I? Okay, no, that, that that was right. Was it? I'm confused. No, there's this northern part. How do I get to that northern? Oh shit! Those things are pissed. <laughs> oh, you off? Are you? Ah, oh, fair enough. Yeah, I need to improve that emote. Thank you for popping by. I appreciate it. Always, always good to have you over. I look forward to the cupcake. I mean, if you leave now, that, that's, I'm guessing that's what you're doing. You're finding the fastest motorbike and you're heading down here with the cupcake. <laughs> yeah. I need to get up there somehow, I think. <laughs> I swear I've got to go across there somehow. Speak with Marshall. Where the fuck's Marshall? Fine, I'll, I'm going to head back. where the game actually started me. The angry, angry shapes. Oh, hold on, mister. Hold on. It's enough for me to go around. Too far away, mister. I cannot. Okay, I got him. Well, didn't I need those to create something? Ah, oh, I want more. I want more lemon. My mouth is already dry. Give me the lemon. Speak with Marshall. Now, where the fuck is Marshall? Oh, I need entropic echoes and corrupted samples. Lame. Lame, lame, lame. 
Where the fuck's Marshall? Oh, okay. Right there. So what have you been up to today, the now wing? This is a good goddamn fucking cup of tea. I swear too much. Far, far too much. Bergamotto tea? I've not heard of that before. Or am I being dumb? What's Bergamotto? Oh, is it a flavour, is it? Ooh. Hmm. I might have to look it up. It's ridiculous. Pope's grasping at straw. I had to take a detour into the quarry, but I found plenty. Here. We will start HRA production immediately. I promised I'd tell you about Dylan once you helped us. This is it? She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Seventeen years. His brother is here. He was once known as Prime Candidate Six. Code name P6. We brought him here after the ordinary event. He was groomed to be the future director. <sighs> he had towns far beyond any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. Are you with him now? So you kidnapped him. We took him in. Ooh. Our parents vanished along with every other adult in ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. He wasn't fit to be the director. Did you know about this? I'm going to look it up in a moment. As soon as this cutscene's over, I'm going to check away. it out. Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. My brother. Brother! We we were the same. What if we are? I'm going. Now. I expected as much. I need to go check on something. Something I cannot let the Hiss find. It shouldn't take long, but you must watch the Bureau while I'm gone. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Dun, dun, dun. Do not let him out, Director Faden. How do I make her stop calling me that? I'm not here for them. Simple here. These people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? Frenemies. I need to see Dylan. I need to know. I wish Definitely you could tell me what you know, explain things. Just looks like a giant centrifuge. Me, okay. could use a friend right now. Jesse. Brother. I'm not so worried about seas. I've not used that yet. I know there's a floaty, there's a floaty um, power you get in this. Do not know where it is though. Until then, let's power up the energy. Right, let's take a look at this. Uh, where is it? Bergamotto tea.
Ooh, we can buy it over here. It's quite fancy looking. Mango and bergamot. Oh, is it Earl Grey? Is that what it's called here? Yes, yes, I have found it. Um, my housemate really likes it. It's called, um, we call it Earl Grey. Normally that's something, it used to be something that the rich only um, drank here. Earl Grey was very fancy tea. Um, I have found it. I've not tried it in a long time. I didn't like it when I was a kid because it was very, um, what's the word? Like almost perfumey. I've not tried it in about 20 years. So I might have changed my mind by now. We go find Dylan containment panopticon. No, he's followed you in, right? Hmm. Sorry, Ugh. still getting used to these new hours. <laughs> no one's asked for the cutters in a couple of days. Alright, where are they? You tell me if they're on straight, okay? Because I can't, I can't tell. I need to shave as well. I'm getting a bit of a neck beard going on. <laughs> You're too kind. Can't tell if it's too far to the left or to the right. Bit of a picture. The lag. I think that's better. I've still got another hat coming in the post. A hat that's got cat ears on it. Can't wait. Knock over the chairs, I'm a monster. Kathleen, the cleaner, is going to take ages cleaning up my mess. Oh, we've got floaters. Floaty floaters! Floaty floaters! Oh, look at them all! Floaty floating! Not floaters. Oh, 
shit, I'm being fucked up. Throw a chair at him. That guy totally deserved a chair to his face. I don't want to be the one to say it, but he deserved it. I know the wiser people have said an eye for an eye, but they haven't said anything about a chair for a chair. Tropic Echo. I think I needed one of those, along with several other things. Had to make sure. Hiding up here? Yes. There's you. Port remote. Reminder this week, any documents that suddenly appear pink, light red, or any shade in between must be incinerated immediately. Failure to do so will result in termination and possible bodily harm. Thank you for your attention. This has been a service announcement. I want to jump through the window. Are you going to let me? Yes, yes, you are going to let me. Right, onwards. Oh, we've got lots of monsters. Fucking didn't like that. Any more? Easy peasy. So, have you got any plans for tomorrow, Elwing? This map is big. I'm heading north. There's Tesco's miss. Freaking out right now! What's the best part of Tesco's miss? What are you looking forward to the most? really should have done a fucking online shop. I'm a fool. Oh, there's a doorway right there. <laughs> we don't need doors where we're going. Or tables. Or fax machines. Oh, hell yeah. I thought you might have said one of the items that you're getting, but no, it's the actual, the occasion itself that is the most important part. It's a bit like, it's, it's the meaning, you know, it's not about what you get for Christmas. It's about 
you know, it's about the feeling of Christmas. And it's the same with Tesco's Miss. That and crumpets. I had chocolate spread on crumpets the other day. So good. I've been eating like a fucking pig lately. Oh, we've got wibbly wobbly effects going on. Quick, hide in the shitter. It's just the same room, it is the same fucking room. Right. Yeah. Happy Tesco's mess. <laughs> yes. I told a guy at work today to go and have a poo, chill out. He said his guts were hurting. I'm like, have a poo. I'll sort it out. So, no, it won't. It's like, have you tried having a poo? No. Well, there you go. Don't rule it out. It's a very highbrow channel I've got here. Mods are full. Right, let's get rid of some. Who does buzz? Ah, Bubsy. <laughs> I'm only messing with you, buddy. I'm only messing with you. I find it funny more than anything. I, I'm i fond of saying poop because it makes it cute. As long as it's cute, it's okay. As far as I'm concerned. Poop dog. Those things exploded. going on here Don tootin so Don poopin oh, there's more of those they look a bit like the clickers from the last of us oh, for a bit of wall at them I want to sort them out Oh, he got him throwing up on his buddy. The pukey buddies. Oh, damn. Was that today, was it? Huh. Who the fuck is shooting me?
No way. When's it when is it launching? Is are they about to? I never watched one live. Right, this guy has got to go. He is getting on my nerves. Are they stationary? T minus 39 minutes to reach minimum safe distance. I was watching a launch the other day, um, like a video of a launch, obviously. And it was showing the like the crazy amounts of gallons of water that they spray on the ground just before the jets fire in order to cool the ground. It's fucking insane. Fuck's sake, my mod's full again. <gasps> Always full of mods, me. Right. Oh, damn, that one's. Seize accelerator? Right, well, that's. Yeah, I think it is. It's to keep the entire... Yeah, it's to stop it just burning and melting away the concrete. Because of the crazy temperatures it gets. But the, the sheer amount, because if... I think they'll probably have them in that one. They come out and then you just see them just... Just looks like... Um, not like a dam. I can't think of the right word. It looks cool. <laughs> My vocabulary is a bit stunted this evening. Looks really good. It does. I should just become an orc for tonight's stream. It could make floor cold, water wet. Is that just caveman or orc? Orcs more gravelly, I suppose. Ah, oh, you're making me jelly. If I knew, I would have. Well, actually, I probably wouldn't have paused the stream because it's stream day. But once it gets to a minute, can you repost that when we get within five minutes? <laughs> that way, I can put it on in the background on mine. I might have to avoid, uh, ignore the chat for a little while to watch it. Awesome. That, that fits in with my subheading for tonight's stream as well. My obviously David Bowie inspired heading there. Altered item, cell breach. P6 is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Has they has found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? Oh, do I have to go to that fucking hotel again? Oh, brother! Oh, I don't like the hotel. This is the work. This is like the weak bit for me. All right. I need to make the keys appear. Oh, someone just watched the ending to Mass Effect Three. I think I heard the screams. Oh, he watched it again. Oh, we've got all the upside down rooms. Is that why he's screaming? Because shit be upside down. I don't like it that way. Oh, we've got something floating there. Did you see it? I don't think it was meant to. 
I think I might have just glitched through something. Oh, oh, there it is. Ah, yeah, it's just. Oh, we got Tesco Mus, Tesco Mus. Le Tesco Mus. Don't pretend it's Tesco Mus just to show off. You've turned picture upside down. Congratulations. Oh, there's water under that door. Or oh, blood. 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 Bits of sick. Okay, this one's the right way around now. And we've got the key. Woo! Oh, my tea. Oh, don't be cold. Please don't be cold. It's... It's not great. If I leave it past now, it'll be undrinkable. And that's the only problem with English tea. Not English breakfast tea. Is when it's cold, it's fucking undrinkable. And reheating it just doesn't work. Ah, the ridiculous lie. So you're wanting to know about how can the main ingredient in yoghurt be yoghurt. I think I've got that correct, haven't I? You want to know the origins of yoghurt. Okay, so the origins of yogurt are thus. Hey, oh, I'm happy you're happy. I am welcome to the stream. I'm glad you're having a good day. <laughs> I'm just telling Heisen a ridiculous lie, then I want you to tell me about your great day. Um Heisen has asked me to tell him where the fresh yoghurt come, came from. Considering that the main ingredient in yoghurt is yoghurt, he has found essentially a glitch in the matrix. Um, so. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each this other. This original ingredient wondered about him. of yoghurt. And he grew up to be things as oh. hard for him as they were for me. Maybe in here. They were even harder. So, this one isn't so much a time travel one, but this one... It's... You know the grandfather paradox. Oh. Well, I hope the guy stays away from the forum, buddy. I hope, I hope it's a good victory. I hope it lives... A, the victory lives long. You deserve some peace there. I mean, if they just look at at his history, surely they should see that they're a fucking bully. Oh, buddy. You should celebrate with a food you really love, or a drink you really love, or play a game that you really love. Super win. Oh, I'm, I'm really happy for you, because it sounded like that was really, really getting you down. Ah, oh. wait a minute. Does that mean you're going to watch Count or Ninja? Okay, I better tell Heisen his his ridiculous lie. Otherwise, he's going to get pissed off with me. I know. I'm just playing. You, you're being very lovely. Thank you very much. See, this is why I've got the best. I've got the best chat room. Oh no! You don't have to be sorry. 
don't have to be sorry. Heisen is incredibly patient. He's waited days before for lies. So, yes, yeah, so he's a very patient fellow, is Heisen. You've got to be patient if you know me in real life. Because um, uh, I can be a bit slow. Um, okay, so. The ingredient yogurt both does and doesn't exist. And I've used this before with, like, um, I think it was with hamsters and cheese. Um, with. Uh, what's it? Quantum entanglement. Um, but it's not quite a quantum entanglement. It's more of a, a set of thinking problems. Uh, mind puzzles. Well, I suppose all puzzles are mind puzzles. Um, they say that tomorrow never comes. But. If you do manage to get there, it's a bit like cat it's a bit like getting to a rainbow. Um, you can never get there. As soon as you get further, as soon as you get closer to it, it moves away from you. Not completely unlike the edge of the viewable universe, is that by the time you get there, it's moved further away from you. And we don't know at what speed it is going at. But on the edge of that, one person managed to get there. One person called Henry. Henry managed to breach. He managed to get to tomorrow while it was still today. And if you're able to breach. Breach that particular problem of getting into tomorrow while it's still today. Um, then he, he had this massive. He could have had a massive adventure. But Henry he wasn't particularly adventurous of the mind. Um, he was just hungry. And he went for a snack. And in the fridge, there was nothing except from a little white pot. And he looked at the little white pot, looked inside it, it smelled delicious. So he, he ate half of it and took the other half back. And when he came back to today, which was tomorrow today, but not today tomorrow, he was back in today, but by the time enough, uh, enough time had passed, it was then tomorrow for him. And... He put that in his fridge, so therefore, yogurt both exists tomorrow and today at all times, regardless of your, regardless, it's, it's in, I think it's called, I think it's called superposition. I, I might have my, I might have my physics wrong, but I'm pretty cool, pretty sure that it's called the superposition. So the superposition of yogurt is both tomorrow and today, and that is why yogurt is the main ingredient in yogurt, because yogurt has to exist in both times at the same time at all times it's as simple as that really and I hope that explanation is will suffice I'm pretty sure it's called superposition this guy's got amazing hair Aya, you should totally do a dance. Do a little dance. Do a victory dance. Possibly get a butter knife. And like go... Da -da 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 -da. Sunbreaches popping up all over the place. What's going on with the items? <laughs> when you first said that, I started thinking about the movie The Stuff. It's like, I'm not going to just rip off the movie The Stuff. Um, I as um, the forums, or at least one of the forums, um, she because she messaged them, and uh, basically I think they they either spoke to the bully, but something happened with the forum mods and the bully, and they got so pissed that that they left. So she's free from that bully, hopefully free for for good. Look at this guy wearing shades indoors. Oh, and his buddy. Maybe it's Larry and Gary. Do you remember the two naked dudes from um, Outlast? They lost a bit of weight, and they decided to put some clothes on. And there's Gary and Larry right here, people. I'm glad you guys took the time to put some clothes on. Congrats on the weight loss. Okay. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right, uh, well, okay, hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. 
It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered I items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those ultimate. Fine, or do your me. fucking oh, stuff, me. grumpy man. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first timers not to touch anything, so, uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. So, how many times do they change director? Was that kind of the point? I told some of those pictures, but no. Why listen to Langston? Just a panopticon supervisor. What'd you say, fool? Is the TV back in its box yet? There's no rush or anything, it's just, you know, an ongoing concern. What's the difference between objects of power and altered items? Think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining I don't know. Knives. Knife rain. <laughs> Knife rain. Nice metaphor. I like this guy. Hey, Ariana. Welcome. How is the cat? How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to them. Did he say singing? Flipping the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, uh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them. The inner circle. Thank you, Darling. Not that I care. Trench certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no-smoking policy? It does. Just not for Trench. Still, <laughs> he is the one who put aside fun. Aww. Getting all the butterfly and kisses. did have vision. How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent because my uncle knew a guy. From there, I got put on a desk until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. At which point, I got bumped up to management. Put in a steady eight hours a day for another ten years, and voila, supervisor. <laughs> I just picked Aww, up a gun. Ah, best boy. Or a gun picked me. Fierce little monster he is. Do you like working at the FBC? Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. I checked. Better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. I'm, uh, close to them, in a way. I can't tell if that's creepy or normal here. Okay. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. Do they have to open that every time? Okay. Panopticon. Dude is close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. Yeah, I was thinking exactly the same thing. Um, that and his animation of his face might be the best one so far. Everyone in this game has got amazing facial animations, but his was just spot on. There is... He's, he's been the least uncanny valley of them all so far. All of them have been deep within the uncanny valley but he was actually yeah very natural looking oh what's this what's this
Oh, no way! Oh, that's great. Soon they're going to be crying and be like, feed me! Give me all of the food! Headshots, I can do that. Okay, is there no side missions? Monsters have opened their eyes. The little monsters. Right. Accuracy 16%. Really? I was using an accuracy buff? That doesn't sound like me. Oh, that's fucking 19. There we go, that's better. Pretty eight percent rate of fire. Yeah, let's fucking have that one. Oh yes. Um, have I finally got a better health one? Not health, energy even. Just want the energies. Okay, so I've got to go up the floor before I can go to the... I think I might be a little bit overpowered when it comes to the telekinesis. I basically put all my points into it, because it's fucking badass. I don't regret it. Do. I want to get the floaty, the floaty power. I've seen people using floaty power. Ooh, that looks like an object of power. The mailbox. Are these all objects of power? Uh, I get it. I get you. What's that one? Is it a hammer? Yeah, of course. Let's have at least one reference. Ooh. Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? Going to start thinking of names for them, or are you going to put them up for adoption? When they're old enough, obviously. If they've just opened up their eyes, they're still not very old. Look at this little floater. Oh, hello. Gap down merry go round. Uh, how how's it going, man? You got your food. Everybody, Coyote just had a big delivery of delicious food. What are you doing in there? Looking at the refrigerator. Look, someone has to watch this object at all times or it deviates. My ship replacement never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. I can't, I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back, I promise. Okay. Okay, just I will come back. don't forget. I can't stare at You've got someone else's longer. food. Okay. It's a double win. Fridge duty. Oh. 
Oh, I do have other ones there. Okay. Let's go for fridge duty. Is this the age in the Panopticon cell after Dylan has been found? No. After Dylan's been found. Fine. Are you keeping them separate, are you, just in case someone asks for them? Do they have delicious things inside? Where is that? Investigate the training course. Go to parapsychology. Fuck it, let's go to that one. Up for a side mission. If you like, it's full of whiskey and um, angel delight. And they'd be like, I better better be keeping hold of this for a while, make sure it's safe for 24 hours. For anyone that's not aware of what angel delight is, it is liquid, <laughs> li liquid heaven. It's so good. Oh yeah, good point. <laughs> oh damn, that power up really does work well. It goes through my ammo. Like cray cray. Oh, that's one of my guys. destroying the shit out of these ones. I'm on the fucking move today. This is my new buddy, he kicks things. He's good at kicking things. Oh shit. I'm lucky for him, I'm good at throwing shit. Failed? Um, okay. Fair enough. I thought I did alright. Maybe not. Maybe it's this computer's fault. Strawberry flavoured mineral water. Nice. Oh, I fucking love flavoured water. It's one thing Tesco's does really, really well. is fizzy water. The lemon and lime. Love me some lemon and lime. Some lemon and lime. Oh. Upper Panopticon. 
Pupticon. Lip ups. What's the time? Okay, right. Biddly biddly bong! Right, so I can't help matey until I've found my brother. I got you, dude. Don't worry about those floaters. I got them. Have a look around. Let's scope the place out. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. Do, 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 do. They weren't expecting me to flank the motherfuckers, were they? Hey, is that Dave? Dave. Ah, uh, he doesn't recognise me. A bunch of floaty people in here. Yeah, they'll get their shopping. No one loses, I don't think. Well, I mean, they'll, they won't get their food tonight, maybe. But That's I'm pretty sure Tesco's can afford a couple bags of shopping. We're going to cleanse the X Files TV, are we? Actually, that is a bit He should be, but he wanted to put in for overtime, and this is where it gets him. Or oh, am I going to get floaty powers? I want floaty powers. Okay, that's blinding me. Okay, we've got a big spinny thing. <gasps> Excuse me. Anything hidden in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, so we're going a bit MC Escher. Oh, is it bad weather conditions? Or was it because they knew I wasn't watching? They're like, but Luke wanted to see that. Imagine being that important. All oh, those guys aren't going to activate until I fall into the pit of death. Oh, okay, fall further into the pit of death. There we go. This one looks a bit like a fucking revenant. Put shit on him. South door. Oh, this guy's going down. This guy's going down. Nice little fucking buddies, too. You're going down. Do, 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 do. Bottom of the fucking office chair. I'll sort him out. Dodge the weave. Oh. 
The combat in this is so much more fucking fun than Alan Wake. I mean, I know Alan Wake is like eight years old, so I should cut it some slack. That thing was but the, comment, the, uh, the combat security. in this is just fluid. You're still awake from yesterday, I. Holy shit. You must be tired as hell. You must be hopped up on some crazy ass coffee. Oh yeah, you said that yesterday, didn't you? Didn't know how you managed to stay awake. I can't do it anymore. Not, not since my mid thirties. Wow, that's a lie. Not since my late twenties. Yes, don't make yourself unwell. If you need to sleep, you should sleep. You had your victory today. You've done well. Use levitate. <gasps> We've got levitate. Thankfully, now my um, my subheading for the stream actually is contextual. I was I was hoping it would be. Yes. Right. How long can I do that? Okay. So I can't do like a double jump. Okie dokie, Aya, you get super comfy. Super comfy and have a great nap. Okay, so I can just float in place indefinitely. Okay, I do start falling down. So this is more your um, uh, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory style floating. You're very welcome. Oh, I don't know how you managed it, Coyote. I really don't. Okay, so you can catch yourself before you fall. Do you like that they've taken ammo out of the equation in this? Okay, so it's more of like you're, it's almost like you're landing on a moving platform. Hmm. Please, dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. They call a floaty woody.
Gemein! <laughs> Tesco's miss! Holy shit! God, did you die already? Pew pew! Oh, it's making me hungry! I'm just gonna end up having another glass of fucking lemon and then I'll just wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning really needing to wee. Because that's what happens. Cheeky shit. Oh, that's really good. Oh, look what I got. Look what I got. I be your flutie. I be your no flutie. And there's a swan. Or did you already have the floaty? You probably already had the floaty. Oh. In that case, I better not tell you about the part where. We nuke the moon. Moon nuke. So close. <laughs> no, moon nuke, not moon luke. Moon luke has very different connotations. I don't think Twitch allows that kind of those kind of shenanigans. How's your day going, Count? Oh well. How are you feeling? Have you had a bit of rest of you? Who's asking? Jesse. Nice. Have yourself a nice relax. Yeah, I think it's been I think it's been a bit of a week for everyone so far. Everyone seems to be having a bit of a, a tiring week. Jesse. Emily? He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's no. affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. He doesn't look entirely in control of his own faculties. Um... I mean, I'm. I don't stream tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday, isn't it?
Oh, I wrote that on the table and the window. In the same font, no less. That's impressive. Tomorrow is Thursday, okay. I mean, I don't mind tomorrow, but I, that might be a bit short notice for you. I'm gonna go all the way fucking back. Is there no no fight here to to happen? That's lame. I come all the way to this cell. I travel all the way here for him to just not be here. And he's he's back at the start point. <laughs> Okie dokie, mate. I, I I appreciate you popping in though. I understand that this is a bit. We're in spoiler territory right now. Am I gonna have to go back? Speak to her just to get clearance to come back to this room. Because that's fucking bullshit. Hello, Dozer. How's it going? Fucking swan. How are you doing, Dozer? Glad to hear that. Not bad, not bad. I'm a little bit tired. It's been a long day. I've started doing 10 hour shifts. I used to do 10 hour shifts all the time. So it just shows how weak I've become. But it's knocked me a bit on my ass, so I'm a little bit tired. So it won't be a long stream tonight. Oh, wrong button. Oh shit. That's not why I was meant to press. Looks like Christmas tree. Hey, Christmas tree. They gonna be exploding. They be exploding for me. Do 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 do. Exploding for me. Fuck's sake! How am I supposed to tell which ones aren't mirrors? Aren't mirrors? Aren't windows? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh there's one of those rocking around. I've got 25 out of 24 mods. Well done, me. Oh, damn. That was way better.
Oh shit. There goes 10% of my monies. Ouch. Tell you what, I am I'm pretty knackered. I think I'm gonna call it a night. This is gonna be a real short one, only an hour and a half. Um Thank you everyone for coming to hang out, I really appreciate it. Uh sorry this is a short one. I'm probably gonna crash out well early after drinking lots and lots of lemon. And I apologize to Dozer who's just arrived. But I hope you come in and see us again, Dozer. It's been a while. Um yeah, I think I'm gonna crash. Well, I think I'm going to chill out. Um, thanks again for coming, everyone. I hope you have a lovely day. A lovely, lovely day. Take care and be excellent to one another. Bye-bye.